Okay, hi, my name is Nadal. I'm from Motorola. I'm here to introduce the Motorola 360, the Moto 360 watch. Is it too loud? Okay. I'm, I'm here to introduce the Moto 360 watch. It's a watch that's been designed by Motorola to look like a classic wristwatch, but at the same time providing useful information from your phone. The first thing that I'll introduce you to is the premium materials that it's made in. Uh, so you have a stainless steel casing with a Gorilla Glass and genuine Horween leather from Chicago. It can be woken up in several different ways. You can wake it up by pressing this button here. That will wake it up. You can also wake it up by simply touching the screen. That will also wake it up. And the last gesture that wakes it up is simply bringing it up to read the time and it will turn itself on. With the Moto 360, you get a full day battery out of it and this is because the display will work out when you're using um, the, the watch and when you're not using it. The other thing that you can do as well is you can have a look and you can change the, the display. So you have six different faces that you can choose. So you can customise the watch to however you want it to look. The other thing that uh, the watch does as well is it syncs with your phone. So anything from your calendar, anything from your calendar will be synced to here. So for example, any of the notifications that I've got, for example, it's showing me what my steps are. The device is built with a pedometer and a heart rate monitor as well. So you can see here it's showing me my steps. What I can do is dismiss by sl sliding to the right and open by sliding to the left. So if I have a look here, I can ha actually have a look at my history throughout the week of how many steps I've done. You can also talk to the, the watch itself as well. So I can just press it and say, OK, Google. OK, Google. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? And you'll see that it will respond to voice commands as well, and it will respond back to you as well. It has the same functions for calendar, navigations. You can also show your heart rate monitor. So, OK, Google. Show me my heart rate. And using the application on the watch, it will show you your heart rate. It will also show you your last red heart rate, so you've got some sort of history on there as well. On the latest upgrade of the watch, you can actually take pictures from the watch using your phone. So if you wanted to take a portrait of you and your family, you can stand far back and you can press capture on here. And you can simply shut the watch down by putting your hand over it. That's the Moto 360. The next device that I'll show you is the uh, Moto G second generation. So the Moto G second generation is built off of many of the attributes of the first generation. I'll go through some of the, um, some of the new stuff to the new uh, Moto G. So as you can see, you have a five inch display on there, full HD display. You also have dual fronted uh, speakers on the front as well. So for anyone that wants to media, listen to music, it's a great app. It's a great phone. You also have a two megapixel camera on the front of the phone as well. And not only that, this is a dual SIM um, phone. So that basically means you can use two SIM cards at once. Uh, by using two SIM cards at once, it has an intelligent calling feature. So unlike most um, dual SIM handsets, you don't need to turn the phone on or off to activate the other one. You can use both SIMs at the same time. So you can receive calls on two SIMs and you can also make a call out on either SIM. With our intelligent calling feature, the device will work out which way you're using your phone. So say, for example, you have one for work and you have one for personal. The device will learn that one number is for work and maybe you only use that on SIM 1. And then on SIM 2, that's for your personal. Or alternatively, you can manually set that for yourself. And finally, um, with all of our devices, we like to produce, um, we like to provide customization. So on the Moto G, you can customize the shell. The shell is available in various different colors, um, and you simply, it's take, user is able to take it off and replace it. So that's the Moto G 4G. And the last device that I will show you is the Moto X second generation. Again, the Moto X takes a lot of tenants from the original Moto X, but we've built upon it. You have a beautiful 5.2 uh, inch display on there, uh, front facing camera, rear facing camera. 
Also, you have the customization options um, with the Moto X. So again, we've offered choice um, to the consumer. And this one in particular that I'm showing has a leather backing to it. So it's available in leather, bamboo, and soft touch. Through our motor maker sites, which is being rolled out through Europe, you're able to customize the color on the back, the accents, the volume keys, and even have a small signature on the back of the device. It's packed with all the usual features that we have, so you have always on display. So if you do receive a message, the device will light up, and you're simply able to press it and see what the, the notification is. Similarly, you also have always on voice. So, OK Google, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is 300.65 metres tall. Another feature that the device has is the Moto Assist feature, so it's a very intelligent handset. It will work out your patterns throughout the day. So, for example, if you're in a calendar, it will silence the device. For If you have a calendar meeting, it will silence the device. Similarly, at night, it will turn itself off. You can talk to the device and say, OK, set, okay Google, set an alarm for 7 a.m. And the device will set the alarm for you. OK, that's the Moto X. Thanks, sir. You're welcome.